Texas game, mm. which featured 550 yards of rushing, 182 that came from our next in-studio guest. Jamal Williams back on the show. Jay BYU swag Daddy. Junior hey. running back, swag with two Gs, and technically the very first recipient of our BYU Sports Nation karma. That's exactly right. You you were our first in-studio guest after the Virginia game on Labor Day. Oh, you're making me bliss. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first time you've been on uh, the TV side. What do you think of our set here? I like it. It's real spiffy. Like it fits you personality. Both we, of y'all. Thank we, you. We want something um, from you to add to the set at some point. All right. Should we hook that? A glove or a? Nah, you don't. A, you a you get a hat. A you, hat or can something. Can you make that happen? Yeah, of course. We That'd will awesome. keep it on the set. Jamal Williams, BYU Junior, running back with us on BYU Sports Nation. You have a very unique preparation for football games you, you have the dances that uh, you send out on instagram or and, and the selfies and whatnot what do you do to get ready for track which has now become your second sport huh it's a little different like actually i just put on the headphones and just walk around jog i actually won well for the first track me i was so excited i warmed up like three hours before <laughs> i raced <laughs> i warmed up and then i sat down and i was like I really have three hours before I run. So then I went to sleep, woke up, then I warmed up again. Then the second warm up, it wasn't like as intense because I already did it the first time. But it's it's fun to be out there though. Jamal, you ran uh, in the Robinson Invitational, you ran the 100, you ran the 4x100. Did you run anything else? Did I nope, miss? Okay. Nope. How did you think you do and uh, did and how was that? Uh, I feel like I did okay. My expectations for my first time weren't all the way there, but I did all right for my first time, and I uh, got another one tomorrow, and um, I expect it to be even better than the, my first time. You're now officially a dual-sport athlete at BYU. What do you want to get out of track and field? What are your expectations in that sport? Uh, pretty much right now is to get technique down and, and turn over and just a little bit more speed for football-wise, and and hopefully um, next year I'll be more more prepared and already in some type of more shape than I was this year because um, it was like a little shooting, shot in the dark, see if he would actually let me do it. And it was kind of <laughs> surprised he let me. So I wasn't real, uh, really uh, prepared to do it this year, but I'm, I'm getting into it. Why do, why are you doing track? Is it to get faster in football? That, and I, I love track. It's still my second sport, still what I wanted to do. And, I'm trying to show up my little sister because she's running right now. That was my next question. <laughs> Jayla is, uh, is a, a track star as well, and your mom has tweeted at BYU Sports Nation about how you just want to try and keep up with her. Is that the real motivation behind this all? Oh, that's that's like secondary motivation. <laughs> but <laughs> just to let you know, in this family, I'm still the fastest. Okay, Jayla cannot beat me, no ahead, matter on my worst day. Ahead of your mom in her prime? At UCLA? Yep, I'll still get her too. Nice. Jamal Williams is on BYU Sports Nation. You've talked about, uh, you know, Bronco Mendenhall letting you do this. What was the process like of trying to be able to run on the track team with Bronco? Uh, well, first, you had to uh, talk to Kyle. Kyle's one of the coaches right now for Gro track. Grossar? Yeah. He was, uh, he was our, um, like, conditioning coach mm -hmm. at, on football. And since he went to track, it's like, have another football coach there to to watch me and to help mm -hmm. me out. So, and it's, he's a familiar face to Coach Mendenhall. So it's uh, just a a positive bonus for him to know that we have Kyle watching me and helping me out and everything. Is it repaying for Ziggy coming from track to football? Is that what this is? Mm. No, just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Someone mentioned that on Twitter. I thought, hey, that's actually pretty funny. Ziggy from track to football and. Jamal can go to the track team. Yeah, paying it back. Jamal Williams ran a personal best, according to your mom, 11.1 .1 in the rain at the Robinson Invitational, right? In yeah. the 100. Yep. Okay, What? where do you want to be when the track and field season is over? I'm trying to be under try to be under 11, at least go like 10-8. It's not hard. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. not, sorry, it's not hard? It's not hard because I, I did some minor mistakes while running a 100 that I noticed now. Uh -huh. that if like I, what? Like um, my, my start, my start was good. When I started to finish, that's when everything just broke down. I started going back to football running. Uh -huh. <laughs> football running, I was striding it out and everything. Well, really, I just got to keep my knees up, power through and everything. So it's just it's just a mindset. I just got to stay strong and stay to the technique and not go back to 
football running when it's track time. Dual sport athlete Jamal Williams plays football and now running track and field for BYU. We were talking about who would be on the 4x100 team if it, was, if it were only football players. Mm. Who are the four fastest guys on the BYU football team right now? Hmm. I would have to go me, Don, uh, Devon, okay. if he was here, Michael, and then it's, it either has to be Taysom or Rob because it's like five of us. So Yeah. Who's – Who's running what leg? Like, who's the anchor? In the who's, four by who's the fastest guy on the team? Huh. Michael going to go. Michael's going last. He's, okay. going, he's wow. the fastest guy on the team? Yeah. Wow. Okay. He's a little, you know, he like, he's skinny. Skinny, <laughs> slinky, weasel type. <laughs> slinky weasel. <laughs> he's, my, he's my weasel. He's my fast weasel. Okay. Wiley Coyote type. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> he's, he's the anchor. He's aware of this? Yeah, he's the anchor for sure. <laughs> then Devon could go second for sure. I don't like corners, but I'll do a corner if I have to. So I either go like first or third. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay, I'll go first or third. Not I'll go. I'll go third. Okay, I'll go third. And then Taysom or Rob would start it. Mm-hmm. Taysom would go first. Taysom or Rob would go That's first. That's pretty good. And we talked to Devon Blackman uh, earlier in the week on BYU Sports Nation. Who's faster, you or Devon Blackman? Devon. Devon. Yeah. yeah. That's no. Ju- that's no judgment there. And that's okay. a great thing for the receivers in the fall. I mean, I, I think a lot of people are excited about his speed. Uh, he talked to us a little bit about the relationship that he has with you and kind of your mom and you, uh, the influence of getting him to BYU. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think of Devon Blackman coming to play with you at BYU, what, your old high school quarterback? I'm excited. It's, it's been a long journey trying to get somebody from home to come up here with me. And I'm I'm happy to always get somebody to come up here. I'm just more happy for them to to even know to know about BYU and be happy for me and everything. But I'm more excited that he's coming up here and to enjoy football with him and about to be just the best year. Talking with Jamal Williams, BYU football running back and now a track and field star for the Cougars under Ed Eyestone. Let's talk about what it is you want people from your old high school, your your old teammates and friends, guys like Devon, what do you want them to know about BYU? I want them to know that you, they may not know about it. Well, they know about it now, but it's it's not a as a weird place as it as it sounds, as like the honor code and everything is restricting and stuff, but it's it's more about character building and and getting you ready for things outside of college life and mm-hmm. In real life, when you when you're old and you got to pay bills and kids and everything, <laughs> yeah. so so you'll be ready. Uh, that's one thing about this place that most people don't like. It's like it's not all the way the college life type place. It's more more building yourself, getting ready, and um, that's one thing I'm I'm grateful for. It's like it's like a bittersweet. You know, you want to live the college life and you want to you want to get ready for real life but you don't know how to really do it but i'll take real life over just having college life because college life only lasts four or five years real life you have all your life to to do what you want with it and i'm trying to do something good with it jamal williams is on BYU sports nation some college life for BYU athletes takes about seven or eight if your my, name is mike hague right yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about one of your other teammates uh paula ck so he's playing rugby on Saturday. I don't know if you saw the play where he just trucked a fool, just ran through him. Mm-mm. Did you happen to see that? He's going to tell me, though. <laughs> he's going to tell you. <laughs> so this Navy defender tried to tackle him, literally mm-hmm. just kind of ran through him like a, like a train, like a car trying to take on a train. Really? How has is, how is he uh, maybe influenced your game or you've influenced his as he's kind of converted from rugby to football? Well, we both, when we both block, there's always the hammer and then there's always the cleanup man. Mostly, the hammer is like the one that sticks the person, and the cleanup comes in, like hits him like right on the side. When Paul first got here, he was the hammer, and I was the cleanup. Now it's changed. I'm oh, the hammer. Oh, okay. So I'm the hammer. Paul's the cleanup man, and we've been debating. We've been going at it for like all spring camp, to see who's going to be the hammer. So pretty much, just because he's bigger than me. We're gonna let him be the hammer. We're gonna <laughs> let him be the hammer. I'm just gonna even though you him. are the hammer. Even though I'm the disguised hammer. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. <laughs> Talking with Jamal Williams of BYU football. Yesterday, BYU finds out they're headed to the Miami Beach Bowl officially. 
uh, for the first time. It's an inaugural bowl game in South Beach. How do you feel about the prospect of playing a bowl game in Miami in December? Is we going to the Beach Bowl in Miami? Is this news to you? Yeah. Oh, I, like well, I heard, yeah, yeah, but I wasn't for sure. This is official. It's official. If you're bowl eligible, I mean, it, it, if, if come on, man, you'll win. Okay, That's you're gonna salty. Win. You win. When? Six. How many games are you gonna win this year, by the way? Oh, we're gonna have to go ten plus. Ten plus. Yes, yes. This Love is the, the expectation. You're playing in Miami. Yeah. Against uh, the American, so it could be Central Florida, Houston, Cincinnati, SMU, mm-hmm. a team like that. Okay. What do you think of that matchup and the place? I never been to Miami. Oh, until this year, I'm about to go like twice because we go to Central Florida, Orlando, yeah, which is just north of Miami. Oh, my bad, my bad. Orlando and Miami. Well, just being in Florida would be yeah. my first time. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited for it. Hopefully, we get to a, a BCS bowl first. Then if well, that doesn't happen, the the BCS has gone away, but the college the football big, playoff, the big bowl games, oh, right? One playoffs. of the final four, yeah. The playoffs started already. Playoff. Yeah, it's, playoffs. It's this. Yeah, it's this year. Bro, it's been too long. I'm sorry. I've been in track. Listen, too long. you've been doing track. You got the blinders on, like you're running the hundred. Like, I think you're in the zone. I actually appreciate that. You just want to win games, right? Uh, pretty much. I just want to win games and get to the biggest bowl game or the playoffs or whatever. I'm just trying to win. Jamal Williams with us on BYU Sports Nation. You have developed this uh, interesting little tradition every time you do an interview, and it's called Shout Outs with Jamal. Hey. And uh, we, we would like to offer you up the microphone on this simulcast to do Shout Outs with Jamal. But as you're doing that, we want to ask you to sign our BYU Sports Nation Rise Up flag as well. At the same time? I, can, you do bo- can you do it? No, okay, don't. Can sure. you run and hand off a baton? That's the question. That's what we're asking <laughs> you to do right now. All right. Okay. Shout outs and then you can sign. So do cool. shout outs first, then you can sign. I'll keep track yeah, of the Don't number. do that to me. You almost got me. I got confused. <laughs> it's like a deer. Deer in the road, headlights. Okay. I'd like to give a shout out to my sister Jayla, who cannot beat me in track first. Give a shout out to my mama, who cannot beat me in track in her prime. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to my Uncle Bo, my Auntie Karen, my sugar mama, great grandpa, Sylvester. He likes to go by Bo. Uh, my grandpa, Paul Paul, Granny Annie, my brother Dante, Nico, Bernard. Ten. Oh, Z Girl. Her name is Zipporah, but I call her Z Girl. Clearly. Uh, yeah. Brandy. Um, we got Gabby. We got shout out to my dog, Day Day. What's up, Day Day? Are you making yeah. any of these up or are these real oh, people? Oh, they're real people. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Lene Kakua, what's up? Let me check my arm. <laughs> Give a shout out to Rochelle. <laughs> Alexandria, Jasmine, <laughs> Michaela, Trishna. Uh, I already said, oh, here we go, right here. Mimi, Trina, Jada, Shanice, Keisha, Jesse. These are all literally on your arms. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, I give a shout out to Jeremiah, little Jess. Uh, Joshua, he's bad. He's just a bad little boy. He's a bad. He's yeah. a bad. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like he's just bad little kid. Bad little kid. Yeah. You ain't got no bad little kids. I have a two I don't and a half year ba- old. Bad, I know like, what that's all about. Evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Bad is an awesome. Like I don't know. <laughs> Good shout out to Mama O'Brien, Daddy O, uh, Story Stack. That's thirty. Do we have a cap on this? Come on. <laughs> I got two more. That's yeah, it. Two okay. more. Uh, shout out to Knox and Jag. 32, Jim or Fredette. Let's go. Boom. Next time I'm on, I'm going for the record for 50. Are you going to go for 50? Go for 50. We're going for 50. Awesome. So next time y'all. If you get under 11 me. seconds in track, we'll uh-huh. let you go 50. Is that fair? <laughs> yes. Sign, I can do sign it. the flag if you could. Now, that you've <laughs> now done sign that. the flag, <laughs> please. Jamal. Say please. <laughs> please. Thank you. Hey, good awesome. luck tomorrow. It's, Thank fun you. To, it's fun to see you on the track. And we give you BYU Sports Nation karma for track. Normally, it's reserved for, I don't, I don't know, we haven't done it with the dual sport athlete. Yeah, before, you, you've gotten it for football. It paid off huge against Texas. Let's give it to you for track. Sure. All right, Jamal, thanks for having Thank or, you. Thanks for being here. It's great to have you with us.